So I just got this email. Our power had been going out, and when I rebooted my TrueNAS, I got this email. Let's figure out what's happening. So we'll log into our TrueNAS here. And we can see here, pool status is degraded. So let's go and take a look at what this means. We can see the alert up here as well. So we only have one storage pool on here and it's our share. It's just a small share to send files around to the different computers in the house. I don't really use this too often. It's actually just a virtual machine. So we can see here that we have an issue with this. So let's go manage devices. And one of our disks is offline. So let's see what we can do. So if you have a failed disk on your storage pool, typically what you'll do is you'll come into your storage dashboard and check out the storage pool that you have. The health is degraded here. The disk health of the available disks is healthy. So we can go manage disks. And we only have the one disk here, eight gig. That is the primary disk available for the storage pool. So we can go into manage devices here and we can see which disk is missing or offline. A lot of times this might be a loose cable or a fried cable or it's dislodged or something like that. Um, maybe I'm plugging the power to the, the disk and plugging it back in. That might work. Once you plug that in, this should come back no problem. Uh, we can show you that. Let's uh, select this disk and get it back into this and we should see it pop back up. So let me do that. Okay, so we've added back our disk. We'll go back to our storage pool and we didn't have to do anything. It is back and it is healthy. The manage devices, there is our two disks in good health. So pretty easy, system is live. I didn't have to reboot, didn't have to do anything. I just plugged the disk back in, which with a physical chassis may be the situation. You have a hot swap or a hot spare or a removable drives on the front of the shelf and you plug your disk back in and it appears. So let's go over what happens if the disk actually is dead or damaged or can't just plug it back in. So let's go over that. So that disk is now disconnected and we should see. Okay, we received another email saying that our disk is disconnected. Okay. Saying that the disk is removed. So let's go back to our storage, manage devices, mirror. And we can see here our disk has gone. So what do we do? So what we can do is we can add a new disk and we will select replace. So let's just go back to our storage and we'll see what happens when we add a new disk to replace this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in a new disk here. It's going to be the same size as the previous one. And it's only eight gigs. Okay, so we just plug that disk in. I just attached it to the machine and we should see that pop up here. Okay, so there is our unassigned disks one and we still have mixed capacity with our health of our ZFS in poor condition or degraded status. So now we don't what we don't want to do is we don't want to say add to pool existing pool we don't we don't want to do this because what this is doing is it will be turning our our current pool with a single vdev in it into the same current pool with an additional vdev so if we select this and move this over here it's going to tell us that it's 
it's going to give us a warning that this isn't a matching VDEV, so it's not a mirror. So you don't want to do this. You're just adding another disk that's not mirrored to your pool, basically. So what you actually want to do is you want to come into your VDEV, expand your mirror VDEV or whatever topology of disks it is, select the missing disk, and then select over here, replace. And in the dropdown, you should have the new disk that you've added. So we'll select that and we'll select replace. And it will go through and it will replace, basically replace that old disk. So it'll take a few minutes. In my case, it's pretty quick because it's a very small disk. And then we have our VDEV back in order and it is healthy. So now what happens if you add that old disk back? Maybe it was taken out and it was repaired or refurbished or maybe it was replaced too hastily and all it really needed was to be reseated in your chassis. So let's give that a shot. We'll see what happens if we replace that disk. So let's give that a try. Okay, that disk is reattached. So it didn't add the disk back to the mirror because what we did was replace this disk. So this disk is now in a state where the original, this one here, has already been replaced with the data for this, this topology. So we can see here SDC and SDA now make up this mirror instead of SDA and SDD. Okay, and we can see here that the serial numbers are different and that's how it can tell it apart. So this disk is free to do whatever you want. So how else could we approach this? Let's say we do get a disk that we want to add back to the mirror afterwards. Well, you could just add this to the mirror. That's not a big deal. Previously, I've had a video on how to do this in command line, and it's much easier now. So in mirror mode, we can just actually click on extend while you have that VDEV and select that new disk and say extend. Okay, now you're mirrored to three disks. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You're good to go. So now that original disk that was lost if you've recovered it, plugged it back into your chassis, whatever, you can re-add it to the mirror and have a three disc mirror. This won't be the same for RAID Z1. You can't extend them yet. I'm sure that will someday come. They've been talking about being able to extend RAID Z1s for many years. Hopefully it will one day come. It hasn't yet. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that maybe it will one day. So in TrueNAS scale, it's pretty easy to replace a disk that you've lost out of your VDEV. Depending on how big your disk will be, it will take longer or shorter uh, to, to get those added back in and replaced. I hope this helps you out in managing your TrueNAS. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.